my mind went blank. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. All I, I, all I could do was just cry. She'll never get to see her sons growing up and you know, that's all they want to do is watch their children grow up and see, be successful. And to see that someone hates, hates us that much broke me. I'm Rachel Ashby. I grew up in Provo, Utah, and now I'm living in Burbank, California. I'm Vivian. I was born in San Francisco, and now I live in American Fork, Utah. My name is Valerie Lee, and I was born and raised in Utah. When the shooting happened, I initially I just ignored everything. I didn't read about it. I didn't want to read about it. I got a message from one of my closest friends in LA. She was just like, oh, hey, like, I'm just checking in on you. The world is terrible. I hope you're okay. And I was like, what is she talking about? My news feed started getting bombarded with articles about it. And I found out that it was an Asian hate crime. I just like sat there and I was just like, what? I was crying. I couldn't believe it. My sister sent me a TikTok and it was talking about one of the women who was a single mother and it was talking about just how Asian parents are and their work ethic and how they do everything they can to provide a better life for their children. Immigrant parents that just like work so hard to get you what you want and you just sit there and you're just so ungrateful for it. As kids, we don't understand how much they give up for us, how much they do for us. That just... Um, it was really hard to watch because I've seen it with my parents. They were just working hard jobs with long hours just so they could provide for their families. I think I just started going through the stages of grief because these people were immigrants and these people were someone's mom and someone's sister and someone's daughter. To have someone actually die as a result of someone's hatred and someone's fueled evil. Like, it's just so evil to do that. And I, I just couldn't, I couldn't believe that that could happen. I know we always say it's 2021. We're supposed to be in a progressive time. These terrible acts are being committed more and more. And it just shouldn't be happening.